Building a fully equipped treehouse was the highlight of Harriet's summer, even though it got in the way of the class trip. So we have this pronoun it that they're underlining, and we could either not change it or we could, we could swap it out for she, they, or he. So let's think about what it is referring to. So building a fully equipped treehouse was the highlight of Harriet's summer. So what it is referring to, even though it got in the way, what is it? Well, it is building a fully equipped treehouse. This right over here is a gerund phrase. This right over here is a gerund. It's a verb with an ing ending that's used as a noun. Building a fully equipped treehouse. This is the thing that got in the way. And you could test it by, by replacing it, the it with that. Even though building a fully equipped treehouse got in the way of the class trip. That's exactly what this sentence is trying to say. So it makes sense to me that if it is referring to something that has no gender, like building a fully equipped treehouse, and it's not plural, that you would just want to keep it it. You definitely wouldn't want it to be she. Building a fully equipped treehouse is not is not a is not a female gender, and it's not a male gender, and it's not it's not a plural. So you wouldn't want to say they either. So I'm definitely going with I'm definitely going with no change.